Hi, dyslexic genius here. What I'm going to talk about is a Cheney Motor. Cheney's phonograph company is an off-brand. Uh, the guy who created it was a concert violinist, so when he built his phonographs, the Cheneys, they had the spruce horn, like a Brunswick machine. These motors are massive on these. I have to do a rebuild on this, but it's interesting when you look at the motor, you're going, great. None of these castings come apart, so everything has to be slid in. I'll have to show you all this. I've taken the governor cover off that fits here. And you'd see the governor. This was sent out to someone, I don't know, like Uncle Bubba to work on, and the customer got it back, and it still wouldn't play. They did clean the spindle shaft nicely. But other than that, all the gears and stuff are filthy dirty. The casting has a little roughness here in pitting. That's from manufacturing. Well, can't you take it apart by using those screws? Yeah, I can take it apart by using those screws. One of the screws back here holds the spring barrel in place. This unscrews like that. And then you pull everything out. And then the whole spring barrel will drop out. But first, you want to take out the governor. And the governors are built like a boat anchor. You can see this huge nut here and this bearing that's holding it in place. And then you have... Where's the, the bearing? The bearing is here. Okay. Right here, this piece of brass. And then we have this nut. And then we have this screw that holds it in place. These are very interesting machines. But they weigh a lot. And... I'll have videos on how to take this apart. He also had a patent on his new reproducer and the motors in, I think, 1917. They're very nice machines. They have a very mellow, wonderful sound, like you're having a cello playing in your house. And that's my tip for the day.